Hey guys, what's going on? Before I start this video, I'd like to say all you guys over at TechBox2035, I'd like you to migrate over to my main channel, which is now my new tech channel, which would be right here. Click the link somewhere, somewhere on the screen. Just click the link and subscribe over there. That's my new tech channel. Okay, apologize for the inconvenience. Or link is in the description below, whichever one you prefer. Uh, so I guess I gotta kind of do this kind of quick. It's kind of hard for me to do a video really quick, especially when I got a lot of stuff in my mind. I keep going sometimes and sometimes I go in loops. And apparently this freaking phone has a time limit on it for like two gigs. Okay, so a size limit for like two gigs. I don't know why. Come on, Google. Why, why are you limiting me, man? I never got a limit on my Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so why am I getting a limit on this phone? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, uh, so I tried out Mantle and I guess I can't really give my official opinion on it because it's in beta. It's a beta, uh, but it's, it's so far it's, it's good. It's good. Uh, so with the mantle update, which is required, uh, the driver required is uh, um, the AMD 14.1 uh, driver. Uh, and before that, with the game, also you download a, a patch, which is about 1.5 gigs, 1.3 gigs, which includes the Mantle API, and it also includes the uh, the some uh, some bug fixes and, and stuff like that, for performance and whatnot, and some other stuff. You know, after ever since getting this game, I've never been able to use the keys properly because I'm left hand. I use the right hand, my left hand with the mouse, right hand arrow keys. I don't like W A S D. I don't use that shit. So I use this. I got the insert home page up, delete and and page down keys that I use for stuff like the delete key to reload, the end uh, button to throw a grenade. Yeah, the I have some other stuff with the. I don't think I use the rest. I don't have no idea. Probably not. Uh, and I use the keypads over here, the number keypads on the side of the keyboard uh, to switch weapons and whatnot. Uh, and, and ever since the release day of Battlefield 4, I was not able to use that delete key. So that one key couldn't be programmed. And that just messed me up. But since this latest update with the mantle patch, I've been able to actually bind the delete key to reload. Finally. I now have to reconfigure myself to actually use the delete key instead of pressing the end key to below. So, uh, yes, I tried it out. I tried out the mantle patch. Uh, but first, I'd like to say with the new update, I've got performance increases. Uh, before, even with the Dynamic X 11, before with without the mantle patch and whatnot, before, like before that 1.3 gig update that came on January 31st, I believe it was, January 30th, there we got the update. My game would drop down to 45 frames a second, and as soon as it, as it hit 45 frames a second, I just quit. I just psh, gone. Just I just left and go watch a movie or something, play another game. Uh, but now with DirectX 11, uh, I don't drop down with a new update. And DirectX 11, I do I don't drop down to 45 frames anymore. Um, anywhere from 55 plus, uh, probably about 70 to 55, right in that range area. But normally at 60 frames a second and everything is just much smoother especially when i'm in a battle and it gets really intense i'm at 60 frames a second so now i'm enjoying battlefield a lot more now <clears throat> mantle okay so i played it I, I, I played it and i'm not too impressed i'm not too impressed i'm not too impressed here's why okay uh it, it's beta and, and and come on guys it's beta you know beta you be guys beta means bugs right okay beta bugs Okay, so this is why I'm not giving my official opinion on it as yet, but I have seen performance increases. Uh, with the DirectX 11, I would get 80 frames a second. Okay, it, it's high. Okay, no, no, as high as 70 frames a second. 70, maybe 75, but 70 frames a second, 70 to 55, okay? Generally, 60, uh, but with Mantle, I've seen as high as 113 frames a second. And then it dips right back down to 32 frames a second. Sometimes even 18 and, 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 and 12. And because, as you can see in this video right here, this little video clip that I captured with my cell phone because nothing supports Mantle. The Exitory doesn't work. Fab's not going to work, I don't think. Um, and MSI Afterburner definitely won't work because they haven't updated that shit in like five years. Come on, MSI. So as you can see, I'm stuttering like crazy. I stutter, especially when I'm shooting. Bah, 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 bah. 
I freeze. And I just, I start crying. Because as soon as I on freeze, I'm pretty much dead. Or I got like 2% health left. And especially when there's like a lot of explosions happening. Like if a helicopter were to crash in front of you, and you see him, you look at it like, please don't crash, please. Please don't crash. That's how I was. I played the game in Mantle. That's how I was. <laughs> don't crash, please. <laughs> and when he crashes, like the game frame would just drop down. The game would freeze for a second. <laughs> and, and then it'll just go back to normal. Uh, and sometimes it actually crashed me like twice. It crashed me twice and a game server kicked me out once. It's like, it's like, it's not, we, we don't, we don't support this. This is unsupported. Uh, so I got kicked out once because uh, I was using Mantle. It doesn't, uh, doesn't recognize the rendering or whatever. Or it says it's not required. Or, no, 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 it's not required, but they don't support it or they don't want to allow it, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's the biggest issue and I can't use Mantle anymore. Not for now, until it comes out of beta. Because Mantle itself is beta, the driver is beta. So that's telling me it's two o'clock. Um, so it's like, okay, that's great. But I've seen 113 frames, that's great. It's awesome. Um, that's, that's, that's basically more performance for your dollar. Or at least it used to be. These graphics cards are getting overpriced, man. It's crazy. The 290 came out at $400. You notice it now? It's $600. The 7970 used to be 300 bucks. I can find it online for 450. Why? This is the one thing AMD really had going for itself. It's the one reason why I had AMD, I chose AMD. Because I needed a new graphics card. The 70, I had a 5770. And, but well, this is basically going off now. I'm like, okay, we just we just talked about Mantle, all that stuff. So I can't really give my official opinion if you guys understand that. I'm kind of drifting away from that now. Um, so I have a, uh, a 7070 and I paid, uh, I think 130 for it. And it was a reasonable price. It was good. It's definitely second hand. It's second, it wasn't brand new. Time I couldn't afford it, brand new. Um, didn't too long got it, probably about six months ago, maybe a little bit more than that. Mm, no, no more than that, about four months. Three months, four months, three months, four months. Anyway, um, but now that the cars are getting more expensive. So now I've been thinking of whether should I pick up another 7070 or should I pick up a 7 GTX 770? Uh, and I don't know man, it's mind boggling. But this, 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 this is the only car that has not been touched yet. It has not been touched yet. Uh, what I mean by that is the price is still the same. It was 200 bucks a year ago, okay, like half a year ago, and now it's still 200 bucks. Uh, compared to the other cars that rose up 100 to 200 dollars. So the 7970 and the 290 and the 280X, all that stuff, the 290X, those rose up one to two hundred dollars. And the reason for that, from what I've been hearing, is people are buying them out like crazy because of the Bitcoin mining. Um, I kind of expect the same for Nvidia, maybe because they have the new CUDA mining. CUDA, what was it? CUDA coin? It's called CUDA coin now. No, uh, no, I can't talk. It's called CUDA coin now. Uh, so it'll leverage the, G the GPU more and you will use the GPU now. So maybe I expect the GPU and, 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 and video side to get just as expensive, raise up to $100 and $200 more. I don't know, only time will tell. Uh, but Mantle is open and um, it is open and Nvidia can use it, but they won't. If Nvidia did use it, I would dip. Goodbye AMD. I would leave because uh, I've been having some problems with them with the the driver as always people complain about it ever since switching is it's like mm, some games don't work properly Grand Theft Auto won't start it's a black screen it just I've repaired it uninstalled redownloaded I've done everything I can but it just won't work so not anymore uh, Call of Duty, I change the settings, it crashes or it stays at a black screen. So, and some of the games like Test Drive Unlimited and stuff like that, uh, it just stays at a, at a black screen when it started up. But don't tell me, oh my god, an old game, shut up. It's still good games that I like to play, okay? You all have favorites, and I like everything to work. 
So ever since switching to AMD, I've been having some issues, man. Up and down, things not working, stuff like that. So yeah, but if a if Nvidia were to take it, which they won't, because they 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 got the prop to hold up, uh, they're not gonna take it. But if they were, it'll be great. And at this point, DirectX won't go anywhere. But if Nvidia were to take it, take Mantle, not take it, like but okay, license whatever, use it on the GPU. A lot of games will support Mantle, and this is the biggest thing right now for AMD. They need developers to create games for this uh, API, or it's a lost. But I don't see why they won't. I mean, they, okay, the pros are it's low level, it gives you more performance, optimization is great. <laughs> the downside is it's freaking, it's more time, more money to put the API into the game that's required to code it into the game um, for what I'm guessing uh, so if Nvidia supported Mantle I think people will make games without DirectX or they'll make it with DirectX as an option but Mantle will be default because then they'll make your PC kind of optimized like your console so and it would be great it would be great so what what AMD needs right now is a lot of devs to make games for this thing that's what they need. That's number one. Number one. Battlefield has it. That's huge. Let's see if people will follow. Some other people already are making games with it, like Star Citizen, some other developers or whatnot. But we'll see where this thing goes. So, um, yeah, that'll be all it for me. I have to stop this. Hopefully, the video recorded and it didn't stop. Uh, so, um, that's been what it. Guys, have a great day. And I'll